I'm Scott with Sean's Photography, and today I'm going to go over my rigid storage cases. Um, I was on a group, and a gentleman named Vince, he got these, and uh, I, I, I saw it, and I was like, man, that's a nice setup. And so I bought them. Uh, this whole setup here costs less than one Pelican case. So just so you know, this whole setup is less cost than one Pelican case. It's I find it probably just as durable as some of my Pelican cases. So, I'm pretty happy. As you can see, I was sitting on this one. The nice thing about it is I take this out on location, I have a place to sit. Or if I'm too short, I can use it for a ladder. Or I can use it for a step stool. Because, again, these sections come apart. They're legged together. They have these little locking systems here, and then they lock together with these little handles. So there's one on each side. This is my white balance, foldable white balance, that I use for sunset shoots, because then it warms up my pictures even more. I usually use a color checker passport when I'm shooting daylight. Um, I know what's inside each one of my boxes. Um, but they, come, they come orange. And it was too much orange for me. Um, and I stickered to myself. But each one of these tells me exactly, right here in the front, exactly what it is. So I know this is a camera and lenses. And um, this one down here is uh, says absolutely nothing. Because this is my go-to case to throw any of the extra stuff I need. So when I go on a shoot, it's a wheeled case. So here's the retractable handle in the back. So inside here, this is where I would keep my camera. I'm recording with this camera, so there's no camera inside here. Everything inside here has Kazan or Kazan or foam, uh, Kaizen foam, sorry, and it holds everything really snug and durable. Um, I use a CNC machine to cut my stuff, but it's super easy to cut with just your own blade. So mine. It's a little more crisper than some other people's, um, and there's nothing wrong with that. But this one here has batteries, lenses, triggers. They're all pre-mounted into their little shapes. I carry the only reason why I have this camera strap because I don't use a camera strap anymore. But this has um, some cards in it. Back here is a iPad mount, uh, so my iPad fits right in here for when I'm tethering because uh, I use a Flash Air card. And I have Velcro that's right up in here. And what that does is it holds this little sunscreen. And I can actually see my pictures when I shoot out on location. And it comes right up onto my iPad. This foam here, I'm going to switch it out to Kaizen foam. Um, I bought this foam before I seen the Kaizen foam. So I'll be switching that out to Kaizen foam somewhere down the line here. And you can buy pre-kits that are pre-cut for these. Again... Uh, for the cost of the pre-kit cut, I can buy uh, a sheet of the Kaizen foam and do four boxes compared to the cost of just doing one box that has the pre-cuts. Now inside this box underneath here, they lift up from the top. This one has 600s in it right now. So it has the old 600 and the new 600 um, in there. Plus it also holds my spider holster. I'm really liking the spider holster because it, it just... Have the cameras out of the way. I have um, all different kind. I have the cotton carrier and all the other ones. And I find the spider holster pro probably the best one out of the bunch because again, it's just out of my way. It's on the side. When I move a stand, it's not swinging in front of me, and I don't have to worry about them swinging on my sides like um, my my leather holster that I have. Normally, when I go out, so here's the basics. Here's a basic setup for if I go out on location. So I have 600s, got my camera, and I carry this miscellaneous uh, case here. I can throw anything in it. Um, I can throw drinks in there. I can throw whatever I want. Uh, right now it has reflectors in it. It has LCDs panels. It has um, the small hubcap that I use for umbrellas. Here's some 7-inch reflectors inside this little case. Um, so that's... That's a nice little case. I really like that. Um, 
here's a on to my next case. It says cables and triggers. So on top of every one of my boxes, it has actually has a picture of what's inside the case too. If you don't want to look into the front, you can see what's on top. And so we open this one up. Now this one doesn't have any Kaizen foam in it or anything. This one has the orange little pouches. And I put the orange ones in the center because the triggers have antennas and I need this open space up here to keep the antennas from getting bent because I don't like bent antennas. So this has um, right here some uh, Cells 2's. I've got X1's. I've got the old 433 um, setups in here. I've got receivers in here. I've got um, Ellen Chrome Skyport, uh, XT32, an extra one of those. Again, all my sync cables, some miscellaneous stuff. Um, I love these little leather straps here. Um, they're, they're just awesome for just about anything. Tether cables, whatever. Uh, again, uh, 360 cables over here. And ND filter. So those all line up inside this box. Again, normally I go with the ND filters already on my camera's lenses before I get out to look at so, But I keep them in here for storage. Inside this one, of course it says ring flash and V8-6s. So, we'll open it up. And again, we'll show you the Kaizen foam and how it nicely sits right inside there. So, everything just sits in there. It ain't moving around. It ain't going nowhere. So, this is a ring flash, box ring flash with the... All of its mounting system pieces in here. Um, all the little screws are inside this little part or spot right over here. Uh, v 860s and then I got one inside that case there, just in case I needed one. And again, they Lego together and they lock together with these handles. So that's what I like about this. Inside here, you can find these little cases like this. This one here holds my sandbags. They're empty. Because when I go on location, I usually throw sand weights or leg weights or dive uh, dive weights inside these bags, and I can actually um, not having to put a, a 50 pounds all in one bag and having to carry that 50 pound bag. I can I I only need 10 pounds. I just throw 10 pounds in it. So that's what's nice about that. And also on the side here, I got these little miscellaneous cases as well that just lock on. And I can put my drink in here, I can put my triggers in here, ND filter if I don't want to run the ND filter. It's nice and padded and soft so it don't scratch the ND filter. The next one down here, this is uh, 360s and batteries. You can see I've got a 360 in that case over there again. I've got this little mount here, I can mount two 360s onto it. Um, this also has uh, receivers in here, i got a remote head. Uh, for the 360, the little bitty remote head that I built, I've got color gels in here. This is where I mount my tubes are inside this. It ha houses everything nice and slick and easy. You can see that it's got the Kaizen foam on top. It, nothing's moving. It, once it's in there, it's stuck in there. Nice. I, I got some ND8 filters for lenses I don't even have anymore. <coughs> or use, because I don't use any 58, 58 millimeter lenses anymore. Um, inside this one, this is the medium case. This one is the one without wheels. And it opens up. And this is where I house my 360s or 600s X's and my remote heads. So again, I have uh, most of them in there, but uh, I got remote heads in here. I've got, uh, let's see, I've got reflectors. And I got another 600. I got a 360 in here right now. So that's what's inside this case. And then I went and got uh, perforated plastic cardboard, um, covered it with uh, carpet, and made my own dividers and everything. But I'm going to put Kaizen foam in here. I'm going to take all that out and do it in Kaizen foam, have it nicely laid out. All right, next case down. Again, here's another wheel case. I have two wheel cases just in case if I want to pack a little bit more when I go on to a shoot. Normally, like I said, when I go out and do my test shoots, all I have to do is take the little small one and a roller case. But when I go out and do regular shoots, I have to take a little bit more gear. Now, inside this one is the old 600s. 
I like the old 600s. The only thing that's different between the old 600s and the new ones is high speed sync. So the nice thing, and then of course the new ones can go down to lower power than the old ones, but I didn't have to go that low anyway. Um, and they're, they're a pack and head unit compared to just the unit, but the thing is, is if you're going to use a remote head, this is a better pack anyway. Um, again, these are durable cases. You can stand on it, do whatever I want. I really like these cases. Uh, they store my stuff real well. They're weather sealed. Uh, so if it's raining outside, you're not going to get any water in here. Of course, they're not going to be submergible under in the ocean or anything. But they're just as good as any Pelican case. And again, for the cost of this, for one Pelican case, I got all this. My name is Scott LaChance Photography, and thank you for watching. And i also like to thank Vince for showing me, and showing me this stuff and the Kaizen foam. The Kaizen foam just rocks. I love it. Thank you for watching.